we're going to be talking about the addition law and mutually exclusive events. The addition law is used to calculate the probability of the union of two events. So suppose we want to calculate the probability of A union B. The addition law says that this is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now let's look at a Venn diagram to explain how the addition law works. This circle represents event A. This circle represents event B. Now, if we take all the sample points that are in A, and all the sample points that are in B, you'll see that we've counted the overlap of A and B, which is the intersection of A and B twice. And that's the idea behind the addition law. That's why we subtract the probability of the intersection of A and B. Because if we take all the sample points in A and all the sample points in B, we've counted the overlap or the intersection twice, so we have to subtract it once. Now let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have the probability of A is 0.1, the probability of B is 0.12, and the probability of A intersection B is equal to 0.04. Then using the addition law, the probability of A union B is 0.1 plus 0.12 minus 0.04, which is going to be equal to 0.18. So we added, added up the probability of A and B and subtracted the intersection to get 0.18. We say that two events are mutually exclusive if the events don't have any sample points in common. So let's take a look at a Venn diagram of mutually exclusive events. If events A and B were mutually exclusive, it would look like this. There would be no overlap between A and B because they don't have any sample points in common when they're mutually exclusive. 
So let's rewrite our addition law for events that are mutually exclusive. Well, the addition law that we saw before was the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now, if events are mutually exclusive, then their intersection is empty, meaning there's no sample points in the intersection, which means that the probability of the intersection is going to be equal to zero when events are mutually exclusive, which means that our addition law will become the probability of A union B is just the probability of A plus the probability of B. So we don't have to subtract the intersection here because its probability is going to be zero. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose the probability of A is 0.1 and the probability of B is 0.12. And we say that A and B are mutually exclusive. That means to calculate the probability of A union B, we simply have to add the probability of A plus the probability of B. So it's going to be 0.1 plus 0.12, which is equal to 0.22.